by the start of 2023, just like everyone else, I myself set a lot of goals. And one of those goals was to get me from typing around 50 to 60 words per minute to 100 words per minute. Now you might have a question, why exactly should we strive to type fast? Well, you don't have to. But if you're someone who loves being productive or if you're someone who job involves typing a lot of things, then it's probably worthwhile to give a shot because you can get a lot of things done in a much shorter time. And we live in a world wherein I think for quite a while we'll continue to type things out. Maybe in a few more years, we'll stop typing and we'll just dictate things instead of typing. But until then, typing fast is definitely going to keep you productive. In this video, I'm going to share with you eight simple things which you can do, which I learned, tried and worked for me after watching hundreds of YouTube tutorials. So let's begin. The first thing, I did not learn touch typing. So many videos did recommend me to go ahead and learn touch typing. Now, however, learning touch typing is going to be a huge advantage for you. I don't think it's mandatory if you're trying to reach a 100 word per minute mark. If you want to probably cross a 120 word limit or a 130 word per minute mark, then touch typing might be for you. But otherwise, 400 words per minute, you don't have to learn touch typing. If you know it, it's good, but it's not a mandate. Second tip, you have to start using at least three fingers from each hand. Now, you can be a little unorthodox. You don't have to define like which finger I should be using. Whichever you are comfortable with, you can go ahead and do it. I use a little more than three fingers. For example, in my right hand, I'm a right dominant. I use all my five fingers on my right hand. And in my left hand, I kind of use between two to three fingers and that's it. So it's not necessary that you have to use all 10 fingers, but at least three fingers should do. If you are someone who is just using two fingers to type, it's going to be worrisome for you. So better get used to typing with multiple fingers, at least three per hand. The third tip, memorize the entire keyboard structure. This is how you should be progressing as well. Memorize the entire keyboard first. And then even if you type slow, your goal should be to type without looking into the keyboard. This is going to be your first hurdle. If you just memorize all the keys and start typing one by one, you don't search for the key in the keyboard. And uh, once you start typing with this memorization, you sort of build a muscle memory and your fingers would automatically navigate to those places. And with practice, you would also be start pressing the right keys without looking at the keyboard at a faster pace. So start memorizing the keyboard and then build up a muscle memory to move ahead and start typing it. Number four. There are a lot of typing test websites which are available online and this has been one of my free time works for the last one year. During my lunch break, if things get bored, if I have some time to kill off before a meeting, all I would do is just log into one of these sites and simply start typing. I would give some of my favorite sites for you to practice as well at the end. But right now I've been using this website called KeyBR, which is really insane. And for some quick time trials, I use something called Type Racer, wherein you have a small car like icon and you have to race with other people in a typing test. So it's kind of fun and uh, you also get to learn at the same time. Number five, you should always type in sentences. Yes, whenever you're doing a typing test or whenever you're typing something, you should not be typing one word at a time. Instead, you should be reading at a much faster pace than you are typing. For example, if I'm typing word number three, then I should be reading word number four or word number five so that my reading skill is ahead. Now, I'm not exactly sure how this helps, but I watched it in a few tutorials. I tried it and it really worked for me. So if you guys, if you are someone who knows the science behind it, please do let me know. But definitely reading something which is ahead of what you're typing helps you a lot. Tip number six, you should learn to pause. Often we try to hurry up and we sort of mistype things and it takes even further time to come back, delete and then, you know, retype it. Instead, once you start practicing, you would learn what are some of your tricky keys. For example, for me, it is P, X, Q. Yeah, P, X, Q are like really tricky for me. I often, uh, you know, mistype them. And similarly, if N and D come next together, I used to type as D and N. So whenever these kind of tricky situations arise, whatever that applies for you, I would recommend you to take a pause and then type it. Now this might bring your speed a little down, but it would comparatively boost your typing speed compared to when you were typing something wrong, coming back, deleting it, and then retyping the whole thing. So learn to take pauses during your tricky key situations. The seventh tip, learn keyboard shortcuts. For example, if you want to delete a particular word which you typed wrong, uh, instead of using the arrow keys, going back and pressing on a backspace, I would recommend use command plus backspace in order to delete the entire word or control plus backspace to delete the entire word and just 
type it again this way it is much faster uh, instead of moving the arrow keys to that particular character and then removing it and typing it back again learn a lot of these shortcuts and uh, it's gonna only boost you similarly instead of using caps lock on and off you can use shift and i use my left pinky whenever i need to use shift you sort of memorize or associate some of these keys with your uh, fingers as well uh, every time i need to use space my left pinky is for shift my right thumb is for space in this way you start associating a lot of these keys with your fingers and just gets easy along the road number eight practice a lot yes typing is something which can be done by anyone and if you're just consistent enough if you just start typing a quite a few number of words every day then automatically it will boost your typing speed now personally for me i type a lot even for my work so it's sort of like a thing i'm always into and i do take these tests every now and then and whenever you take a test i would recommend you to take at least like five to ten tests because the first two tests are like warm-up exercises three four five is when you hit the groove and six seven eight that's when you will see the maximum typing speed achieved practice a lot and like i said kbr is my favorite uh, site i use typingtest.com is something i've been using for a very long time but then i identified kbr which gives you a lot of different things to type for example a quote from a book or uh, you know uh, you can just allocate a time period i just want to type for 30 seconds or you can allocate the number of words and type accordingly a lot of options are available you get the point point. and uh, there is monkey type there are quite a lot of these things available which you can go ahead and practice for a long time so if you're just consistent enough and if you follow all the tips i just said i think within a span of around six months you would also be at 100 words per minute wherever you are right now uh, go ahead and try this and let me know what exactly you felt or did you find a change in speed? Any of these tricks work for you? They didn't work for you? Let me know in the comments. Take care. Cheers. See you guys in another video.